So to end up the video, let's mm-hmm. look back at our scenarios and just try to quickly choose some thermometers that would fit, best fit this scenario. Number one is what? Engineer design an automatic temperature monitoring system to ensure that the production of a hydrocarbon is at a fixed temperature. So you want it to be fixed. If it changes, then you should do something about it. So what is the thermometer that measures changes very accurately? Hydrocarbon or must be very accurate. Do we measure changes? Or? We want to make sure it's at a fixed temperature. Yeah. So if the temperature goes somewhere else, we want to know, oh, your hydrocarbon system, something wrong now. Yeah, so the, the, the reaction should happen always at the same temperature. If you study chemistry and if you study organic chemistry, you know the conditions for reaction. So it has to be at that temperature. If not, you get some other weird byproducts. So Miss Lee, what will you choose for this scenario? I choose... I choose. What will you sell to this engineer? I choose two. Two is the constant volume gas. Mm. Mm, okay, okay. Because the range is very big. There's no range stated here. And also at the same time, this is obviously if you can hire an engineer, you're a factory. La. So you're not a high school lab trying to produce a hydrocarbon for a science experiment. You're producing hydrocarbon for a place like, for example, all the Petronas throughout Malaysia. So you need some QC. Every single liter of petrol that comes out of your factory must be the same. Temperature. Yes. So the reaction must be the same. Everything must be the same. Mm. And so. this thermometer is great at measuring fixed temperature. So okay, la, very good. Mm. Mm. Other ones. Gordon Ramsay. Oh my, this man. Wants to measure the internal temperature of his Christmas turkey while it bakes in an 82 degrees Celsius oven. Chicken. Ah. Oh, no, chicken, sorry. Turkey. <laughs> Cooking. Ah. <laughs> What we use, ah? Can you can use mercury? Can you use resistor? If you want to measure the internal temperature, meaning you need to have the thermometer inside the turkey. So you stab it. I I think we need those probe stuff where we can stab, you know? So mercury glass maybe not so good, lah. <laughs> mm-hmm. After you stab, the thing break, then the mercury go in your turkey, then how? No, no, no. We don't want to be poisoned. Do you know it's very easy to get mercury poisoning? If you ever break a thermometer in the lab, please don't touch anything. Okay? You will get poisoned. The mercury can pass through your skin. Mm, Danger, danger. Okay, so I guess the best choice is that one we show you. You stab the food, the the probe go inside the chicken, and then you're like, oh, what's the temperature? Okay, register thermometer. Miss, can you use thermocouple also? uh? Can if you have another reference temperature. Mm. So you need to have maybe a, a water bath, an ice water bath on the on the left side or a boiling water on the right side. One okay, probe miss. here, one probe in the turkey. Too, too, too complicated. Yeah. My kitchen, no space. Oven is just here. I just want to step and take out. Okay. <laughs> okay, next. Archaeologists find sample of crystals mm. from underground and want to measure the ability to conduct heat by its changes in temperature over time. So you have these tiny, tiny crystals and then the, you heat them up and you measure temperature. Wow, tiny crystal. Cannot use the mercury and the constant volume gas, idea. Because the constant volume gas has to be submerged inside something like a water bath. Mm-hmm. So unless crystals. you put the crystal inside a water bath and the constant volume gas inside the water bath, but I think changes in temperature... Do not recommend to. Number three or number four, maybe? Can those, can those two measure very small things? They can. Which would be the best? Changes or... Mm. My favourite will be number four. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, just now we mentioned the resistor thermometer. Change is not as fast. Thermocouple can be very quickly. So I guess thermocouple will be the best one to recommend to these archaeologists. Yep, they just once again need a reference temperature. Yeah, my lah, go and boil a pot of water lah. It's not in the lab already. Archaeologists sure got lab one. Okay. Next. Jet exhaust engine on a fighter plane 
needs to trigger a cooling system immediately if the temperature rise above a certain value. Wow. Jet it's exhaust not... very hot. Oh. Mm. So you have a very big range of temperature and it probably will change very quickly too. Suddenly you got exhaust, suddenly you got cooling. Wow, Miss, what do you think? Uh? What kind of temperature would you recommend for this kind of system? I would recommend the jet exhaust pilot to make friends with the archaeologist and have the same thermometer. <laughs> Kela, very quick change, very large range. Kela, Kela, we put a thermocouple thermometer. Mm. Mm, the rest cannot. Uh. Mercury, you put them and they melt already the whole glass. I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> you, you go to the jet engine, you put the mercury thermometer, then it's need <laughs> the whole thing gone. <laughs> Cannot! <laughs> Same with your glass bulb. Although you can submerge the glass bulb in the jet exhaust, but I don't know. It's yeah, and not, also, not also the thing about thermocouple is that the probe is metal. Uh. If metal is already melting, your whole fighter jet plane is melted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So right, if you use thermocouple, it has a metal probe. It wouldn't like burst or explode or anything like that compared to the other thermometers that uses glass. Last Reason one. Thermometer can, but it doesn't have a fast response time. Okay. But your jet, you change very fast, ma. Yeah, la, you're running after your enemy. I don't know who's your enemy. <laughs> last one, last one. This one is a challenge question. Because... Really? Huh. I will tell you why. A business owner wants to measure thermometer temperature of the customer to comply with SOP for COVID-19. But the choices we have here do not include the T infrared thermometer. So you can only choose from these four. Which one would you choose? I know just now we say got the gun thermometer, you point at the forehead, you T measure, but now cannot. You choose between these four. Which would you recommend? Can we do mercury in glass? Uh, you have to sanitize the, the thermometer between people. <laughs> That's true. Every time somebody stick in your mouth, stick in your armpit, they have to sanitize. Also, have to wait very long. Like, imagine you got a row of customers. Oh, yeah, because you need to achieve thermal equilibrium. So it's very slow. Eh? Cannot. Eh? I don't know. What do you think about number two then? Would you choose number two? <laughs> Are you going to feed the bulb into your customer's mouth? <laughs> Here, swallow the bulb to measure your temperature. But then you need to hold the bulb in your mouth for a long time because it's gas. So you see a bunch of customers just standing there. <laughs> of a fish face. <sighs> nope. I, I, I don't think I would choose it. <laughs> yeah. Harder to sanitize also. Okay, number three, you can uh. Miss, the one that the pharmacy have one uh, is which one? Uh? Why is the pharmacy have one? The strip put on your forehead, see the color change? Ah, uh? uh, that one. Or the other one where it's actually a digital thermometer. Mm -hmm. Oh, one the small the one. Use, uh, yes. That one looks like got a probe. Yeah. They don't stick it into you, but you know, it has to like be put it in like I don't know, under your armpit, in your mouth, oh, somewhere. Inside your mouth. So those kind of things that you put inside your the medical thermometers, huh? Sounds like a resistor thermometer to me. Yeah, it is a resistor thermometer, this type. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've seen this before. That the metal the metal part here is where where is the potential meter? Inside la, auto adjust one. Very small one. Very, very small. Don't you worry. Auto adjust one. If you ever work in a healthcare field in the future, this will be your best friend. Every time I have to measure. <laughs> so maybe resistor still can, la, but then you still sanitize. Mm. Right. I think resistor, the response time is almost comparable to mercury in glass. La. A bit slower. They are both a bit Customer, slow. wait a bit to wait. The one row of customer waiting for you, you faster, faster. Uh. So, maybe one maybe. and three are okay, but Slowly. you have to sanitize them in between, which is the main concern. And also the time. The Last one. The thermocouple thermometer, right? 
your reference temperature need to maintain. So you need to always have a pot of boiling water or a pot of ice bath, always at the side of your thermometer. You're very tired like that. <laughs> so, but the nice thing is, you person come, you just... Oh, very fast. Prop, just touch only. La, touch only. Ah, you touch. Yeah. But you always must maintain. You maintain. Water boiling. Uh. Yeah. So they are all, they got all cons. La. I don't know. I, maybe I will choose the thermal couple. A bit okay. fun. But it saves me having to sanitize every single thermometer and have customer waiting to come in. You still have to sanitize the thermometer because it touched the customer. Oh, that's true. But it's not like dripping in saliva and some don't know what. I just... <laughs> anyway, this is the reason why people infrared the... In- infrared. <laughs> Invent the infrared thermometer. Thank goodness they did because now you just stand there, scan your face. Okay, done. Yeah, la, because you know why it's fast or not? Because there's no thermometric substance. We don't have to wait for equilibrium. The oh light that you God. perceive when you stand in front of the thermometer is just the circuit calibrating itself to give you reading. <laughs> reading your wavelength. Uh, for the MCKL one, it's also to identify who you are, la, facial recognition. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. What's so- the next video uh, about so the next video now we have look at the types of thermometer we're going to look at temperature scales we already mentioned that a little bit celsius kelvin is actually one more but that will be the last part of this chapter 11 that you need to know to do some past year yeah so, so basically yes. today is just uh how to choose a thermometer for certain places and the main idea of thermal equilibrium temperature and heat did i miss out anything nope that's all all right See you in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.